guys, welcome back to V in Bordeaux, and today I'm going to be filming a tutorial using the new Revlon Photo Ready Eyeshadows. And these eyeshadows are actually really cool because they come with a primer and then a little eye enhancer, just which is just sparkles, but I still think it's really nice to, you know, spice up your look. So, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is take this primer, and I'm just going to be putting it all over the lid. It's very, it's this, it's a really light, like, champagne color, and it would actually be really pretty just by itself, if you can see that. I just think it's a really great color. And then next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this mocha color here, the, the biggest one, and I'm going to be applying this all over the lid. I'm just going right on top of the primer. And this look is actually going to be quite a natural one because this palette is pretty natural, I think, and I really love using natural palettes like this. So then next, I'm going to be taking this middle color here with an angled, I guess, with an angled crease brush. And for the crease, I don't want it really defined. I just want it to be... I still want it to find, I just don't want it like there. I want it to be really natural. So I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this and then just applying this right into the crease. And this is actually a really great crease color because it might look a little dark in the pan, but once you apply it, it's really nice. And it just gives a little subtle pop to your eye. So there's that. And then um, there's there's just the eyeshadow. Maybe I'll add just a little bit more to the crease here. Just to give it that nice line. So there's the crease. As you can see it's coming together slowly but surely. And then next, I'm going to be taking this highlight color, which I think is really nice, and I'm just going to be applying this to my brow bone and my inner corner. And I'm also going to be taking this a little bit underneath my eye, and then I'm going to go back in with this middle color here and put that on the outer part of my eye. Just really subtly. And then where the sparkles come in, I'm just going to take my finger and I'm going to be applying the sparkles just to the inner corner also, just to really brighten up my eye. Okay, next what I'm going to do is apply eyeliner. And for this, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, just in black. And I'm going to be applying just a really thin line. I'm not winging it out or anything. And I'm just going right to my tear duct area. And just making it a little bit thicker as it goes out. And so, that's the eyeliner. And because this eyeliner is actually really wet, I'm going Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my brows. And for this, I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Eyebrow Kit in light. And it just looks like this. I have hit pan on this color, as you can tell. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Concealer Brush to fill them. To just fill this one in. I already filled my other brow in. So I'm just taking some of the darker gel side. Next, I'm going to be going back to my eyelashes because I think my eye, my eyeliner should be dry by now. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. Give them a nice curl and a mascara. And then I'm going to be using the Buxom Lash by Bare Essentials and this is in Black is Black. And the wand just looks like this. I really like this. It really um, gives my lashes a little injection of volume and length. 
So I'm just going to be applying a really healthy coat of this all over. Probably healthy two coats. And okay. So now I have my eyelashes done. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be taking for my lashes here. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Turbo Volume Express in very black. And this is a waterproof mascara and I only use it on my bottom lashes because I don't really like waterproof. But I don't want my bottom lashes to smudge at all. So, okay, now I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal True Match Crayon Concealer. And I actually got this yesterday because I was really excited about it to use for my blemishes, and I got the color Light Medium. So I'm just going to look for any problem spots that I have, and just conceal them, and blend a little bit around the nose, down on the chin. And I'm just going to be blending this with my finger, because I think that gives me the best um, finish. And then, now that concealer's all done, I'm going to take some powder. And I actually got this a few, like a week ago, and it's the Maybelline, um, Dream Matte Powder, and I got the color Medium Zero to One, and I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Blush Brush but I like to use this for powder because I think it's really, really, um, it's really soft. And I'm just gonna go over my whole face. Just give it my face a light dusting of this powder. Okay, now the final thing I'm going to do is use, is put on blush. So I decided to take this uh, Physicians Formula PH Matchmaker blush, and this is in the color Rose, I just think it's really pretty. And it's supposed to like match your face, and I got this a few, like a week ago too, which is funny. I just went on a crazy Ulta haul. And so I'm just going to add this right to the apples of my cheeks. I think that this is a really pretty blush. And to make sure it's not too harsh, I'm just going to go back in with my powder brush and just kind of blend that out. Make sure everything is blended really nicely here. Okay, lastly, really lastly, I'm going to be taking this Buxom Lips. Um, this is their plumping gloss, I'm pretty sure, and this is in the color Claire. You probably can't see that, but it's just a really gorgeous pink color. And I'm sorry if the lighting changed the outside. Light changed too, and so I'm just going to be applying this all over my lips. And I'm not using a lipstick because I want this to be as natural as possible. And I'm trying to get more into glosses, so I thought that this would be a nice opportunity. And so, if you guys would want a review on any of the products that I use, if you're interested, just leave it in a comment down below and I'll get to that. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys really like it, because I actually really like it. And I'll probably be doing this on a daily basis. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and remember to subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!